Milanka Nation, today, July 28th, is World Hepatitis Awareness Day. And because of this, we want to continue raising awareness about hepatitis, specifically hepatitis B, its effect on the Filipino community and ways to treat and prevent its spread. So joining me in the studio to shed some light on these topics is Dr. Teresita de Gamo from Northeast Medical Services and Richard So from SF Hep B Free Bay Area. Welcome to Adobe Nation, guys. Thank you so Thank much. You. There are some staggering numbers when it comes to hepatitis B. Something like 10 million Filipinos in the Philippines have chronic hepatitis B, but 3% only know that they have it and less than 1% are diagnosed. Um, those are kind of alarming numbers. Why is it that so many people don't know they have hepatitis B? Yeah, that's a really good question. Um, unlike most diseases, hepatitis B, for the m vast majority of patients, has no symptoms until it's too late. You're not going to feel that pain. You're not going to feel sick. Mm -hmm. And what I mean by too late is by the time you do get you know, sickness symptoms, feeling pain, um, something off, usually by that time the disease has progressed to being something much, much more serious and life-threatening. I see. Well, speaking of those symptoms, what are those symptoms that people should watch out for, doctor? Um, you know, be it that it comes later on. All right. Yung hepatitis B, um, para yung magnanakaw sa gabi, no? Maraming, maraming tao, walang nararamdaman. Uh, kuminsan, parang pagod sila. Uh, pagka malala na, medyo naninilaw yung balat, naninilaw yung mata, tapos nagmumukhang bundat sila. Kasi hindi naman buntis. Mm -hmm. Ang medyo yung mataas na parte ng sikmura, ang mataas yung mm -hmm. liver nandun. So yun ang, yun ang uh, dahilan. So it gradually creeps up on you. Who should be screened for hepatitis B? Yeah, so when we're talking about the Asian population, um, uh, actually much of people from Asia and people with parents from Asia should be screened and this is according to the CDC and that includes almost all of East Asia, mm -hmm. almost all of Southeast Asia um, and the Pacific Islands. So we're talking about China, the Philippines, uh, Southeast Asia, um, Laos, Cambodia. If you were born um, before 1998, the advice is to um, um, born in, before 1998 and also parents of um, origin from the named state, uh, parts of the country, Asia, Southeast Asia, Pacific Islands, some parts of Africa. Kung galing doon ang mga magulang natin, dapat mas screen. I see. Okay. Tapos sa names, lahat ng buntis, meron kami yung programa niyan na regular yan, lahat kasama yung hepatitis B screening. Okay, that's And of great. course, yung travelers, yung mga nagbibiyahe dyan sa mga lugar na yan, they should be screened. There are some misconceptions about uh, hepatitis B that we want to make sure that we clear up um, here on uh, uh, on our segment today. The very first, uh, and tell me if it's true or false, Richard and Dr. DiGamo, uh, the very first is hepatitis B is an STD. Okay, the usual answer to that is no, but um, hepatitis B can be sexually transmitted. Hindi lang yan kasing samang pakinggan katulad ng syphilis at uh, gonorrhea, pero kailangan talagang mas screen din yung mga sexually active na tao. Okay, uh, then that's important. And our uh, next statement is uh, hepatitis B can be transmitted through saliva, sweat, um, urine. So that's a really good question too. That is a very big common misconception. So that is false. It cannot be spread through those casual contacts. Um, you can share food with family members or friends you know. You can share utensils, bathrooms, and have relationships in terms of hugging and kissing. Mm -hmm. All of those you're safe. At places like NEMS, doctor, people can visit. Um, please tell us about some of the s other services at NEMS. Yes, because uh, I'm a primary care doctor, ako, so we give you mga vaccines, mga bakuna contra hepatitis B, pang flu, para sa mga babies, sa mga teenager, mga, mga adulto, mga lola, mga lolo. Tapos may preventive uh, and health ma maintenance program kami, yun ang para ma ma maintain yung inyong kalusugan. Okay. So, punta nyo ako <laughs> sa 211 Teesmore Avenue, Daily mm -hmm. City lang ako. Magkita tayo. Just right, uh, right around the area, right? And uh, mm -hmm. Richard, before we go, some parting shots for our, um, for our nation. Yeah, as we've said here, um, I'm with a nonprofit, SF Hep B Free Bay Area, and our whole goal is to be out in the community, 
promoting that prevention, promoting that screening. If you get screened early, you can prevent any of this from happening. Mm -hmm. If you catch the disease early, in its early state, you're not going to progress to this liver cancer, to this serious liver disease. So we can all save lives, our lives and our families, if we just get screened and vaccinated. And I want to thank you guys uh, so much for coming and raising awareness on World uh, Hepatitis Awareness Day. Dr. Digamo and Richard Sobanaming Salamat. Thank you so much. Thank you.